uh, quite the evening. Here are uh, Nina and Yasmina, they are on the violin and, and guitar. So we will start with the music and then we will start with the quality and then we will combine as we will see how it goes. Next. But first, please, uh, Nina and Yasmina. <laughs> Что же ты уйдешь, Саша? Там что-то мечтает. 
Ovo je započetno. So friends, uh, welcome to Quiet Group Tavern. It's one of the oldest uh, tavern of the uptown. Uh, the photographs uh, that you see around is from the uh, one of the most famous uh, Croatian movies, Who Seen Stinks No Evil. So uh, that is that is one comment that was filmed on this part of the uh, on this street and uh, and in this. Uh, uh, alley behind the, behind the tavern, and in that spirit, uh, let's put aside the, all the articles, all, all, all papers with, uh, with statistics, uh, with what's happening in the, in the, and even the weather reports, what's happening now in the world, and let us uh, open uh, the poetry evening of uh, Pen International. So, dear friends, poets, we will start with the uh, chair of our uh, Writers in Prison Committee, who is now in Zagreb. Uh, I will say it again. So happy that she is here and that we made it. So it is something, poetry is needed to sometimes to, to make things that seem unsurpassable and seem unbelievable, but uh, uh, poetry is something that connects us and, and uh, gives us uh, uh, sometimes the strength to go further and to do what we may be thinking before that we cannot do it as well. So, uh, please, Tita, uh, uh, read first. Yes. Yes, Your poor son isn't even employable 
Esther Clark, you used to be a weak. Forgive nothing for her. Nothing. Sam Kuchan, why do I hear noises behind you? You out on the boat. I'm at the bus stop to post a manuscript to a journal. I lied. From your liar son at the dock, the thugs who sweeten you with the tips of their tongues. Do our benefited peasants, because they want to have you from behind, hate them all, Father, hate them all. A thief is unarmed, a thug is armed to the thief. If thieves are ungovernable, if thugs are ungovernable, what's the point of the government? Whatever happens to the jungles, whatever happens to the mountains, whatever happens to the rivers, they don't care. They love the country just the way they love to break a coconut from inside out. For coconut milk. Blink by blink to make their throne taller. They will point their guns at the audience on the Lord Voter's forehead. Their glass is that cross. To cuss at that cross. If your religion forbids you, allow me to use that religion. I will turn the air blue on your behalf. Maybe you don't know yet, your son was set up for demanding the so-called police not to harm ordinary citizens. Some days, your son, who is not a thief, not a thug, will become employed. Good as your dog that tears me. For now, Father, keep gazing at the plantation, glow with your naked shoulders. Keep singing the anthem of the peasants' union. Yours ever is our win. Cell number one, section 10, priority prison. And another poet, this is a very short one. He was killed, uh, he was arrested in the evening and next morning his body was sent back to his family and some organs got to be missed. This is happy. This poem, he wrote it during the revolution, peaceful revolution, 14 February 2021, two weeks after the military coup attack. Survival. I don't want to be a hero. I don't want to be a martyr. I don't want to be a coward. I don't want to be a reckless fool. I don't want to be a mid and water process. I don't want to humiliate myself. I have seen freedom of speech whose tongue was cut off. I've lived with human rights behind bars. I survived many a sterilized day. Let's end our own hell with our own efforts. I don't want to be a, the cream of a politician. I don't want to be an armchair poet. I don't want to support the Atma. If there's just one minute left for me, I want my soul to live that minute being happy. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. Sorry uh, to hear about uh, the cycle in your country and the movement. Uh, Matilda is a uh, surgeon, writer, human rights activist, and former prisoner of conscience. She has published under the pseudonym Suragamika, which means brave traveler. In Myanmar, Tida is best known as a leading intellectual, whose books, like, yes, whose books build it. No, it is not. Yes, just a second. Whose book? Sorry. So, whose books produced? Whose books produced? Okay. All right. So, no, no. Yeah. Is it working? No. 
<laughs> it was just like you know, one one song from the microphones. <laughs> Look, I will try again to show like uh, something is wrong with my car. So the battery. Battery, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, I think Sida is uh, best known as a leading intellectual whose books deal with the country's political situation. Matida is the first elected president of Myanmar 2013 to 2016, and since 2016 she has been serving as a board member of Pen International. Looks uh, they win. A letter from the jail cell, San Bien, or survival. So let's continue with the poetry session, free the work, writers in prison conference in Zagreb, and I will invite uh, the former former president of the writers in, in prison committee, Salil Tripati. Tripati, sorry, Salil. Salil Tripati. I will just announce you first, you are a writer and a poet based in Europe, so. And he was formerly chair of the Writers in Prison Committee. He is the author of three books of non-fiction, including a history of Bangladesh and a book on free speech and Hindu nationalism. Most recently, he co-edited for In Your Tongue, I Cannot Fit, with Indian artist Shilpa Gupta, which is a tribute to poets who have been in prison. All proceeds from the sale of the book go to support Pence Writers in Prison Work and other independent media initiatives. Okay, so he will, uh, sorry, you will read a poem by Diva Shavu, yeah? Yeah, Please. about him, about him. Yeah. About him. I'm glad to say that the books have been sold out. Hey! But you can look at look at a I, I, couple of people here have copies, so you can look at them. And if more people want it, let me know. I figure out a way to get them. But this afternoon, I spoke about Mahmudul Ul Salahi. So the first poem about is about him, and the second is about Yusha. And I've written both, but it's about them, not about me. And before I do it, I don't know how many of you were there in Quebec, I think, when we first heard about Mamadou Salahi. Basically, when he wrote his diary at Guantanamo, he got it back from the censor, completely redacted. Everything was a black line. And then Larry seems campaigned with him and fought and fought. And one by one, they started opening the words. They put the windows opening. That, that's the thought I had. And those of you who know Indian poetry, Rabindranath Tagore was the only Indian who won the Nobel Prize. So Tagore used to do one thing, that if he had written a poem, he would draw between the words like a river and do painting. And I thought there is a possibility of doing a poem about the contrasting the two of them. So this was an experiment. He likes it, so it must be good, yeah. <laughs> he meaning, he meaning Mama, not, not Tagore. I mean, Tagore died in... 1941, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so here it is. For Mahmadu Ul when they sent the diary back to the prisoner, he could not recognize it. The words he had written had disappeared, swallowed by a sky without stars. Pages like that, one by four by nine obelisk that made the primates go mad. A shaft of life entered his cell. But these pages, skyscrapers at night with their lights out. Where had all the words gone? The poet stared at his page. Words weren't enough. The gaps between wanted to speak. Words were the seeds ready to sprout. Leaves eager to surround the branches. Why were the bellies empty? Where was the river? The prisoner knocked hard. A window opened. You could see a word. Blue. The poet dipped his pen in the ink pot. He began filling the gaps between the words with lines that spiraled out of his fingers, wandered like wine seeking the sky. Blue. More windows opened. More words now visible. One by one, words tore apart the thick black screen, staring back at the reader. Layers of black ink withered away, 
from beneath words sang. Very, not die. A page. A giant banyan tree is sometimes born on the page. Birds sing in its branches. The poet too sings. The words shine like precious stone embedded in a carpet. A starry sky. The words are free. The prisoner, no longer a prisoner. The poet, no more, only a poet. And this is a poem for Liu Xiaobo, which English pen published on its website soon after he died. How to erase a man? <coughs> they were warned that if they buried him deep, he would return in spring as a flower, because he was a seed. And they were worried that if they placed his ashes in an urn and attached it to a rocket and fired it in the sky and programmed the rocket to release the urn, which would scatter the ashes in space, then each particle of his ashes would become a star and the stars would glow and parents would name their sons after those stars. So, they lowered the urn into an ocean, hoping that fish would swallow the ashes and the ashes would disappear and no longer flow. But they had no idea. The ashes would dissolve in the water and in time the water from beneath would rise to the surface and evaporate and reach the sky and seed the cloud and rain on this vast land, this good earth. And a hundred flowers will bloom and sway to the lilt of the fruit. It was not quite what they had planned. <laughs> Sibila, uh, former president of Croatian Pen, a dramatist, novelist, uh, academic, uh, and professor in the school, uh, in the academy, at the Academy of Dramatic Arts, where the opening of this session was. So she teaches there. So it was her place when we, we opened it. So please, Sibila. Okay. I read three very small poems from. Uh, Soil with Earth, Drunk on Air. It falls. An unknown force uses the tails of swallows to draw. The whole vista is mot mottled with lines of hunger, lines of escape. Flies fly out of the spiral's eye. Their spots darken the orange sky. Let's see who would dare to cut the birds today. Read the fate of the world for their entrails. No need to predict the night before the war. After a long and heavy rain, the wolf milk scattered puffballs across every old stump in the forest. Blood stream falls, pink as others of young cows, and tiny as marbles for the games of long dead boys waited patiently in the dark for the memory of the war to sprout from their spores so they could slowly move in searching of a new The Guardian of Happiness the night is a rabid dog dragging along a fence with star blaze eyes. Bell ringers pop out of the bushes 
messed up with sting, stems shake the bells as if threatening, seated face to face, loving couples, hands on each other's shoulders, waiting for serenity to take hold of them. They should not lose an edge. The guardian of their happiness is tied, is trying to cough up an invisible bird. from Montenegro, who is often in, in Zagreb, and of course uh, closely connected with Croatian fans and Montenegrin fans were very, very closely connected and they were even members uh, in the 90s of Croatian fans. And then he's here very, uh, very often, of course, and is a writer, winner of international and Montenegrin awards for literature, including the, the Njegos award in Montenegro. Uh, please, Milorad, Milorad Tokovic from Montenegro. Oh. Dobrače, ja ću pokriti jednu pjesmu na Crnogorskom, tako da možete ona prijed aplaudirati, jer je najsta razumijeti. Shall I prevent him? So he says that he's going to read a poem in Montenegrin, so you can applaud in advance because you want to understand it. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm doing two. She's kidding. This is probably the last song I wrote. I wrote it in Zagreb. And I love that song. It's a lot of fun. Tvoj glas na izlazu iz pothodnika prema željičkom kodboru ti se bitka i lakonoga u velojavoj kolečnoj sutnici ukazao dalje. Trčim pored staničnog zida zasipog sljenkama gomile koje promiču da bi ti nasmijano mahnuo još jedno. Usta se rastapaju duboko u kodbosnom kamenu u nerazgrađenom kamenu. Tvoj glas se obnavlja iz nakupljenih neonskih bljeskova. Htio bih čitnuti i čuti tvoj uzvik sred stanične breve. Razbudi se, da je samo jeka moga glasa. Jednom kad sjedneš na krevet, tvojim sikstinskim prstima pomiluj mi ruku. Prsti su nam spojeni i vlažni poput izgubljene tajne koja usta ga odbiraju mojom krvnju, proširenom toplnom pazom, bilo je stopala i vedra, produžena drtanja tijela, razrastaju nam duše, granaju ih u svitanju, sjela si na ruk kreveta, koji ima naš miris i namještaš kosu. Razmožava se bijelina, o čemu sniš, pokušava se nasmiješiti. Iznova Koračas kao meni, početi putuju, posluškujem, dostaću sjenke. Opet vjerujemo u jezik i u stvari kojima se smiješi. Karla is now in Penn, Norway. Karla uh, is a poet, writer, translator and human rights activist from Barmouth in Wales. She has translated Turkish and Kurdish poets to English and Welsh and runs the Free the Poet campaign for Ilhan Choma at Penn, Norway. She will read the poem by the imprisoned Kurdish poet Ilhan Sami Choma. So please, Karla. You are here, so I am. You are here. Sometimes the glass is going. Thank you. Please, please. So this is one of Ilhan's poems that we translated. I translated this one, and it's one of fifty that were published in his book in September. 
And one of them is on the London Underground, which is really great. And we told him he's still in prison after 29 years. And, and he should come out potentially in September this year with one year's early probation, or maybe next June, or maybe sooner, who knows. Tomorrow. Yeah, I've asked, but he's actually, uh, I did mention it to all the politicians. No, depending so, on the results, yes, yes. Yeah, we will see. Perhaps you touch. I set fire to the maps and line up all superlatives for you. In fact, I'm thinking of the rain. The chance that the sun will appear lights up my soul. I have white clouds and songs I sing at daybreak. Perhaps you touch me. Perhaps you colour the horizon as I sing. It's like this. Souls fly through life. Cracks show in the roads. And winter bears a silent grudge. And spring is silently lit with lightning. Poppies in my hand and I am close to the stars. Stroke me under the chin, brush off all my sourness. Birds are flying from my brow. Then I shake the trees and the sun grows so large. Leaves lay down to sleep and time curls up. Flame-maned animals pass through my pulse and I set myself up in a place that morning forgot. The stream meets with the desert under a careless moon. Wet your handkerchief and place it on my forehead. The memories of roses and violets will shrink into shade. Lend your breast to that memory so that mountains can linger and play. And after the mountains, me too. So I will invite uh, Emma Rojas, uh, the writers uh, for Peace Chair from Penn Chile, Chile, land of, uh, of course, Neruda, Pablo Neruda, but also of Roberto Bolaño and Raul Zurita, which he spoke about uh, on the opening. The writer and poet born in Santiago, Chile, elected in 2022 as the chair of the Writers for Peace Committee of Penn International, and has been chair of Penn Chile from April 2021 to April 2023, 20, after the coup d'etat in Chile in 73, he was in prison, where he wore, wrote the first version of the poem in prison window. Please, Herman, uh, read it. Good evening. Uh, uh, Lisa said, you know, I, I wrote this poem in prison, but I couldn't take out the text. So afterwards, uh, a couple of years after, I rewrote the no. one. And you will see that it's written outside the prison because of the last two verses. It's called In Prison Window. It is about a bird, not, not simply a bird, a sparrow. That came, I had a, in, the, in the isolation cell, I had a small window with seven bars. And this bird came every morning there. I was jumping. And I used to talk for her. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the seven symmetrical cylinders that separate me from the past, the sea and its waves, a future full of hope for not yet having been lived, and of the very image of my life, a broken gray mirror between rusty bars, I see you, fragile body appear, sweet dreams figuring, common suburban sparrow from Antofagasta. Your light, borrow, brown, gray, black lines, Never before by my eyes noticed our cries of freedom. Maritime artillery, flash of lightning in the nocturnal light of the cell. Your two black eyes are arpons, fixed, nailed, immobile stings that look at me intrigued, funny, compassionate, enigmatic, begin questions that buff you for your joyful wings your elastic little legs, your pecks of consumer fencer that do not manage to dent beyond your elbows. The robust wisdom of the bars. Defenseless little bear 
you are the soft sun that nothing can against the cold and atavistic snow of the Puna, the iron, and my soul. Do you want to know who am I and why I don't fly? And why I'm alone and in prison? You will never understand. Because you have freedom itself, the cry, the escape, the privilege. You are my union to life that revels to rest in my veins. You are the humanity of the clear face, not the Myrmidon, the headsman, the accomplice. You are the good Samaritan who was not afraid of my window. Tell me sparrow of the human face. Your time has come to answer questions. Does the sea still break against the rocks with its crystalline hecatomb of salt and drizzle? Where does the green scent of basil that dresses up all the delegates in Chile stop? Is my father still smiling between the foliage of the wheat and the pregnant pears, carrots of wine? You who have wings and have fun with life, you who at this moment are everything to me. Fly, fly, fly away beyond your region that in the agitated sweat of your efforts you will take me tied to you, may drop or tear. This was what I saw from my prison window. Poor little window still there in the prison. I will ask uh, Galina Kruk uh, from Pen Ukraine, one of the uh, finest uh, and strongest voices that come to us uh, uh, from Ukraine under the Russian aggression. She is the, an award-winning poet and prose writer, translator and scholar from Lviv, Ukraine. She is the author of five books of poetry, collection of short stories, and four books for children. She is a winner of numerous literary awards in Ukraine, <coughs> among them the 2023 UN Women in Arts Award. Karina Kruk is a co-creator of multimedia projects, including the project The Book War, in collaboration with, with electronic musician Jurko Efremov and Netflix singer, singer Karina Breslavic, and the poetry and music performance The Resistance of Matter in 2016. So also we presented the book, she is one of the 30 poets inside uh, a few days ago, Uka in 2022 Poetry Chronicle Award. cases from Ukraine, uh, especially from Crimea, especially now, and we have a lot, uh, one, maybe near, near, 20, uh, near 20 uh, poets and journalists who was killed during this war, and uh, it's a, it's a, Ugly situation for, for, for our literature, literature. And my poems uh, will be from the new book, uh, A Crash Course in Molotov Cocktails, uh, uh, which appears uh, in the United States uh, in uh, two languages, Ukrainian and English, but uh, here I will read only two. Історія людства. Уникати чиєї війни, 
аж діждати своє. Малювати комусь на грудях мішені перевіреної форми. Ще ніколи ми не підходили так близько до краю світу, тримаючись дружно за руку. Не зазирали за край так допитливо, такі безпечні, як там глибоко, скільки летіти, чи перші пом'якшать падіння наступно. Світе перед захід, до якого все ще доходить світло від далеких зірок та множих класів. Так рівномірно лягає, що ніби нічого не сталося. Так гостро заломлюється у водах, очах та інших відтепер непроникних поверхнів. Так відчайдушно відбивається від металу, ніби все поставлене на закривавлену карту світу. Те, що відбилося від рук, більше не дається в руки. Звикати до темпи, чистити зброю, берегти на боку. And I will read the translation of the uh, poem, The History of Mankind. To avoid someone else's war until you get your own. Draw targets on people's chest in the regulation shape. I've never come so close to the world and holding each other by hand. Never peered over the edge so casually curious. How deep is it? How far down? Will the first soften the fall for the next? Lights you reach the vital world. From distant stars long since extinguished. It settled there so evenly like nothing happened. It's refracted so sharply by water, by ice and other henceforth impenetrable surfaces. It's reflected so desperately by metal. It's all bets were on the blood-stained map of the world. You'll never get back. That's out of hand. Get used to the dark. Clean your weapons. Save your ammunition. Те, що береже нас від зведення порахунків. Те, що дає силу вробти у холодній воді людневого рану. Видихаючи сизу, хмарку, пар, ніби затяті курці. Те, що змушує нас вгадувати, де найближчий берег. На який рано чи пізно можна буде вийти, стати на твердому. А що тримає нас на плаву. Не дає втонути, виштовхує з води, окрім архімедової сили, сізіхує праці. Окрім підшкірного живу і бажання запливти якомога далі. У цій глибокій тривозі, що приводить до тями і підганяє. У цьому тиркому віччі, що змикається довкола грудної клітки, змушуючи вдихати і видихати. Ми те, що ми витісняємо на периферії свідомості. У хаотичний відеоряд сновидінь про найгірше. У плутаність вражень дитячих, яких не вдається ані згадати, ані забути. Ми те, у чому собі не готові зізнатись, не кажучи вже про інших, навіть перед лицем смерті. Нас підганяє не сила, а слабкість. Ми завжди пливемо до найдальшого пліку. Але це дізнаються тільки ті, кому вдалося доплисти. Вибратись на сухе, озирнутись, прийняти як даність, що десь там посеред води, де дно насправді було ближче, ніж берег. Одно завжди ближче. А тіло вже відмовилося гребти і легені вдихати. Нас хтось підмінить і ніхто не підмінить. Підмінить. Survival. What keeps us from settling accounts? 
what gives us the strength to keep swimming through cold waters on a February morning, exhaling a blue cloud of steam, the way chain smokers expel smoke. That makes us guess where the nearest shore is, where sooner or later we'll manage to get out to stand firm. What keeps us afloat, keeps us from drowning, shows us out of the water. Besides our comedian strength, Suzuki and effort. Besides subconscious fat and the desire to swim as far as possible in this deep alarm that sobers and drives us, in this acrid despair that tightens out with age, forcing us to inhale and exhale. We are what we repress on the margin of consciousness. In a chaotic video sequence of dreams about the worst, in the confusion of childish sensation while which we fail to either remember or forget. Hear what you can't admit yet even to yourself, not to mention others even in the face of death. We are driven not by strength but by weakness. We always swim to the farthest shore. But the only ones who know this don't lack strength to swim, to get out on dry land, to look back, to take for granted that somewhere in the middle of the water there is a bottom really closer than the shore because the bottom's always the closest. Okay, so we go with one more poetry and a reading and then the, the musicians. <laughs> but Piras, of course, here you are, here, uh, just, uh, I would say a few words about Piras. Piras Shamsan is a Yemeni journalist, photographer, blogger, and peace activist. As a result of his reporting and commitment to non-violence, he was attacked and was forced to flee to Egypt at the end of 2013. The following year, however, he was arrested at the Cairo Book Fair accused of jeopardizing public peace and of publishing fake news and tortured in prison. In 2019, Fira Shamsan was welcomed as an icon writer in residence by the Swiss city of Bern, supported by the Swiss German Pen Center. Please, Fira, uh, read us your poem. And thank you for coming. <laughs> I'm really thankful for the opportunity to be here for the lecture. I'm really happy to be here. I was a pleasure also for Alex. Alex, she called me, we came together. She waited me at the airport, we came from Spillet by the past year. So thank you, Alex, and I want to chair Alex. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for all. It's really important time to be here. Uh, I will not be talk a lot. I will read some from the books we made. Uh, this one is the last project we called it We Stand Up. It was like a group of writers, comedians, and artists from Israel, from Yemen, from Syria, from Ukraine. This is called Liftovers. I will say it in Arabic and, or in English and they have a text in Arabic. Liftovers. Liftovers for refugees. Liftovers. Liftover clothes. Old shoes. And a bag without zipper. Old beaver. A fake smile. Hidden. Hiding. A fake smile hiding in a stolen humanitarian aid and a house stuck with a, a lost memories but no sense of belonging. 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 Uh, the next text is from the book One Way Tickets. Actually I was so confused to read about two things. Uh, this book is, I called it One Way Tickets because he was telling the way 
You want to tell, many people ask me what's happening in Yemen. And uh, I say, when Tufa asked me, I say, it's easy to tell you that a blind man saw a man without legs running to catch a blind, uh, a bald man from his head. It would be easy to explain what's happening in Yemen. So I, I choose to take a short novel. When you are traveling and you pass by places around, and you just look here, oh, this is it, oh, this is it. And then I choose the same. A small stories happening around. I made it in one way to it. Oh, it's all painful, but home. Is this, uh, what is home? I got that question. What is home? A home is it the state? agency that refused to renew your passport? Is it? Or is it where you find a place to live? A safe, comfortable, a good apartment? Is it home? Oh, is it home as a place where you treat memories, tears and memories? Is it uh, within uh, the children of your neighborhood and your Destination relative. Destination relative, sorry. Yeah. They said when you see when they see you in Europe or somewhere else, you taste the words better, butter, and we are eating the mold. Oh, what is home? Is it home as a visiting uh, is it visitor visa including return permit? Is it? Or is it a gift that present to travel one, travel one? Oh. Or is it transform transferring money for detective close relative? What is home? Is it the searching for a past beauty? Where's this very, where's the beauty where we live? Is it the moment, I cannot continue this, sorry. I will read another part. Clock, noisy clock. I can't hear the, the hands of the clock in my apartment. It's ticking, it's ticking. But everyone who's visiting me keep complaining about the louder noise that the clock makes. Tick tack, tick tack. They say they cannot even sleep. I don't know if it's because I'm always busy beating the time or ignoring a moment's moment I am afraid of. One way ticket into the unknown. Run. Run from everything. Run from him. <clears throat> Run from your dreams and from what you left. You when he was running at your house. Run because you cannot write any longer. Run because the one appreciated here is the one who's trading his people and killed them. Run because of the run because of the morning will come to bring a new hope. And maybe and maybe one day well you don't need to run anymore because you get a one way ticket. I will end up with a lyrics with Arabic, so I I get uh, uh, this book it was like called the Lamasad Bikra. It is a memory for uh, Muhammad Abdul Absi. Muhammad Abdul Absi, he was a friend of us and he was a journalist writer, had been poisoned in a restaurant in Sanaa when he was investigation uh, about you know like corruption in oil industry. I, I read a text it's called The Krayatu Lil a memory for self. So it's an Arabic and Dutch, and it will be time if I translate it to English. 
ذكريات للبيع أصوات قرع مطرقة المزاد أحدهم يقول بصوت عال ذكريات للبيع بأعلى الثمن يقف صف من اللاجئين في طابور لا متناهي يبدأ المزاد على ذكريات الطفولة تفوز الوحشة بأعلى السعر يهتف الحاجب مرة أخرى ذكريات للبيع بأعلى ثمن المزاد على الأصدقاء المزاد على الأصدقاء لم يشتريهم أحد باعوا الصداقة بقيمة العيش والملح يهتف الحاجب مرة أخرى يهتف الحاجب يقول من يأخذ أصحاب دون ثمن صمت يسود المكان لا أحد يشتري ذكريات للبيع بأعلى ثمن يبدأ طابور اللاجئين بالتلاشي أحلامهم تختفي أولا ثم مشاعرهم لا شيء لديهم للبيع حتى أجسادهم ذكريات للبيع بأعلى ثمن جواز سفر لا يسمح لك بدخول جهنم وثيقة لجوء مرفوضة ذكريات للبيع بأعلى ثمن على هنا على دوة على تريد صوت مطرقة المزاد وحده الخوف والإرهاب من رفع يده للشراء بأبخس ثمن روح إنسان مرمية على أبواب السفارات على سياج فاصل بين أوروبا وأفريقيا بين البحر ومهربين البشر كل تلك الذكريات ضاعت وأغلق المزاد بلا ثمن ذكريات للبيع Memories for sale It's a short what I say about A memories of sale It was auction of selling refugees Memories <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, memories for sale. Memories for sale. That's selling refugees. Memories. That's when they try to sell, no one want to buy. When they try to buy, they only start with the memories of them. No one buy. When they try to sell their friendship, no one buy them because they were so cheap and they didn't deserve the bread and salt. This, the man, he was shouting, memories for sale, memories for sale. But the immigrants start to disappear. The dreams start to disappear first. Nothing to sell, even their own bodies. Even nothing to sell, even a passport that will not let you go to the hell, and even an asylum ID refused. Only terrorism and fear raise his hand to buy in cheap price. A man throw around the embassy's door, in the front of the embassy's door, and a man between a bridge between Africa and Europe, between the sea and the human smugglers, all that memories lost and the auction end without price. Thank you.
все стереже у вас. Доки тебе тримається віра, сонце рухається сточністю птаха, і час відбирається з обережністю звіра. Вітчизни пісня розального блава, теплі руки, одневі дороги, країна боліть, як перебита лапа, щеняти, що виривається з ночної облоги. Виривайся, виривайся, з ночі й тумани, вигризай з невіру та без надію, як потім плактиму твою рану. Наскільки встигли, наскільки зумів, я потім зрозумію, потім побачу, коли східом за тобою вернусь, всю цю твою безпритульність всячу, всю цю твою дитячу рівність. Лишай ніщим їхню піку варку, поминай розставлені в ній лопастки, варто битись і підводитись варто. Ну, одного й довода це пасти. Зірки мають Виснути над тобою, або розриватись, як ручні гранати. Серце має заливатися кровою і переганяти її, переганяти. Гості мають міцно зростатись. Шрами повинні додавати злості. Щось з тобою повинно статись, що сталося вже і триває зовсім. Доки ти всім цим живеш і мариш, доки виховуєш, доки гуруєш, доки ти все це в собі тримаєш, доки не мариш, доки гуруєш. І я вправишу. Сведотик, доки ти чува твоє жич, доки ти се держи твоя віра, сонце се кречує з прецізнощу птице і врємя вкрати себе. Красна ночна рація домовіне про смачки думові і руки мати. Земля твоя боль, ка о шапа прибілена, псіча, що б'є живо на штахай. Проб'яйся, проб'яй, кроз ночі там, шумпай зубіма і зневіреност і безначів. Красне я чоєчу від твого рану. Касне я сватчу, касне я відвічу, качу после тебе утечі, слухову твою безпеку всечу, слухову твою вірпусту вірчу. Умакні ліпову тобі чесну, за обій джів'єш то поставлені кропки, рєді боїтися, візатися в рєді, чакав поморачеш пасти поворі. Звісти морею замріти знад тебе, Іли експлодірати каоричне бомбе. Крв мора залєвати твоє серце, А серце врачати є у бенозне катакомбе. Гості морею чорсто се срастати, Божинці морею дячати їм. Нещо ти се мора доводити на просто, Нещо судоводило, крає, вишує. Сведоко ово живіш і самиш, Ток і звлачиш, і ток ловиш, Ток све ово у себе чуваш, Све ток мрзиш, Све ток ловиш. Thank you uh, very much and for the book and uh, for the, the, the reading and thank you all dear poets. Uh, uh, I will ask now, uh, we just, uh, we have, yes, yes, I, I have just going to ask you. My name is wrong on that stuff. No, I will ask Andrea Lincoln if you know her. Yes, she came from Sarajevo. Where she is literary theorist and the vice president of Penn Center of Bosnia and Herzegovina. She will read a poem written by a friend of hers. Andrea kindly translated. Thank you, Andrea, for translating and please read it. Thank you. I, uh, I'm reading it from my phone because I sort of slipped into the program at the last minute. Which generally is the case with this poem. 
Um, I translated it several years ago. This is a poem by my friend, Anissa Basic, who is a award-winning poet, and uh, she also writes short stories. And she also teaches poetry in the University of Sarajevo in our comparative literature department. And one day she burst into my office in the department where we both teach and said, um, you need to translate this poem into English. I need it in an hour. In two hours, you're coming with me to this impromptu protest poetry reading, and you're going to read it. And I said, I'm teaching in two hours. And she said, I don't care. You bring the students. Uh, then her story of how I read it the second time is that she received a text message from me, which said, I'm in Uppsala at the International Pen Congress. Uh, there's a poetry reading. I just found out that anybody can read anybody else's poem. So I need that poem about uh, sex with a concentration camp survivor, uh, and I need it now. And she said, well, I'm actually in the hospital. Um, the, she was eight months pregnant at the time. Uh, there are women giving birth around me, and I'm a bit overwhelmed. And I said, are you giving birth? And she said, no, and send me the poem. <laughs> so there's a lot of pressure with this one. It's called commemoration. Also, I have to say that she took great pleasure when I read it the first time because I'm a fairly cerebral literary theorist and she's a very sensuous poet. So it was great amusement to her that I had to be <laughs> So, both times it mended. Once it was broken by a guard's iron ball, the second time by the ecstatic tightening of my legs. I kiss your mended temple, your living flesh, and the mended skin. I lick the furrow your blood took to trickle down your back. I lick your blood. One broken leg remained shorter. This leg that tonight I'm holding tightly between my fleshy thighs. This burning head in my hands once used to swing to the rhythm of the guard's untiring fist. How good it is that you are alive how delicious is your living flesh. There is nobody on the grass in the concrete pitch tonight. You used to lie on the concrete playground of the school. There is nobody here tonight, only you and I. No flowers, no memories spoken into the microphone, round like the iron ball that broke your ribs. There is only me kissing the mended skin or with a mended fracture, and you, whose seed impregnates this wasteland. So I will, I hope I will read it well. Our friend from Mallorca, uh, from Catalonia, Miguel Ángel Lauger, Catalan But also, also you are an environmentalist activist, translator and writer and poet himself. He has written three books of verses and one of stories. He was general coordinator of Los Verdes de Mallorca between uh, 2041 and <laughs> <laughs> it was long ago. It was said BC. Yes. But, but it's, uh, and deputy in the parliament of the Balearic Islands since the 2007 elections, elected from the list of the Bloc for Mallorca. He'd like to read a poem by one of by one of our most famous poets, Savannah Espriu. But it requires a short explanation, and then he will read in Catalan. So thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Was my reading in English? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, okay, we're our friend from Ukraine or Montenegro or you're from German, better call I suppose somebody understood something. <laughs> Nobody's going to understand anything, maybe we can tell someone, but anyway. Uh, it's not a long poem, it's a very short poem, it's about <laughs> lines of but I think it's important to read in Catalan. Yesterday I went to an um, event in the library, and our friend from Ukraine. Yeah, 
Uh, yesterday I went to the events in the library and our friends from Ukraine said very nice things about small languages, about language diversity. So that's why I want to do it in Yeah. In yeah. Um, the poem by Salvador Spriu. Salvador Spriu is one of our most famous uh, poets and it was written during the Franco's dictatorship. So, uh, nowadays we have some stories having to do with exile and, and prison, uh, as I expected yesterday, but some decades ago it was much, much worse. So we have a historical memory of prison and exile, uh, so I want to read this out as a homage to, to our friends who are facing very hard times. Uh, the title is Auto, which is a, it's a big, it's a dark poem. Uh, but this whole thing. It's called Pontos, which is the word for sea in the river. Um, language. Al fondo dulce en fin del mar, he visto el son, que hay good, from food, del templo donde he wanted. Hay más reflejo del tenis en la misma vida, que perdo contra el glas de los paramores. Como una roca nueva de la muerte, Ya no me porque el sal a la columna, de qué color. Un áspero, solitario, gris sin cambio. Sin se recuerda el cambio. Mientras se importan, negras aves del corte de un del día. Pero las aves del ser, la mirada. Invitarme a partir, y ya de un serenísimo, muy profundo, de los ojos tranquilos. Yeah, I wanted to read it in English, but I think I'm going to destroy it if I read it in English. <laughs> <laughs> so I ask it. Like, sing loud, please. Sing loud, loud. Um, deep inside the tranquil eyes of the sea, I have seen the dream of the temple of the ancient god fallen, crushed. And I have called marble of time, my life, that I am losing against the eyes of words upon the bare rock of death, where I can only erect the high column of this grief. A lonely, bitter cry without song, without memory of song, while the blizzard black wings carry away the daylight through the prison of the sky and return my reflection, inviting me to depart beyond the most serene, deepest roadway, the tranquil eyes of the sea. <laughs> So we have uh, like a strong affinity for Catalan language. We have the, the studies of Catalan in, in the other university, and then uh, we had uh, Tomko Marovic, Lei Tomko Marovic, who was our board, like uh, a good spirit of Croatian, then translated a lot of Catalan poets uh, to Croatia. So I just get this connection. And I talked, uh, yeah, told I, you I, about I, the event with the Spanish ambassador here. I know him. <laughs> Yeah, you know it. Okay, good. So, uh, also from Catalonia, no, it is from German pen, Astrid Wechstedt, author and theater director, the only German member of the Directors Guild of Great Britain, star director, Royal Opera House, Brussels and Paris. Founded in Brussels, my own company, the Ensemble Interculturel. Directed and wrote and conceived productions for their ensemble. She also worked intensively on the Holocaust, many presentations and time witnesses. Also made a movie with a friend from Tel Aviv about his family story. More recently she worked in Iraq, Baghdad and Basra. The first time in 2017 when ISIS was still a threat, she realized, she realized workshops on literature and theater in both cities, which lead to a large theater production of Egmont by Goethe in Arabic. In the remains of the National Theater in Baghdad, she brought a libretto from a project which was questioning the Crusades. It's a title, its title is Misa a Combatimento, Scenes from a Holy War. And it was per performed in Antwerp and Brussels in 1993-94. The shelling of Sarajevo went along with our production and, our production. and I dedicated the performances to my colleague in Sarajevo, Haris Pasovic. Today I learned that he is still working in Sarajevo, she says. So it is not a poem, but she would like to bring it vicinity of Sarajevo by reading 
the beginning and the end. Please ask it. Uh, Um, so it's really an exception um, because it is the business needs for Sayyarivo Sayyarivo and actually we were invited um, to perform this just when the shelling stopped uh, but somehow it, it, it didn't work so uh, to my dear friend Harris Kazovich which I met after the um, performance in Antwerp when we could get out I only read the uh, beginning and the end, and it is a dialogue between the present and the crusades, which were written in a dialogue, Renaissance uh, poet, Torquato Tasso, so we had dialogue with him, and it was set into music by British composer to be clear. Um, and I wrote it in English, so um, there's no translation. Now the, the beginning and the end. All Europe is eventually all Europe is at war, and it is good to be a soldier. Kings slaying kings, and Christians kill their brothers. Scholars forge sharp swords to fight for God. <coughs> Books are burned, since those who write are those who think, and those who think cause trouble. Thus, the lords have silenced them and let the weapons speak. What kind of world is this? Men are killed like cattle, where refugees lie starving in the streets. There's food enough between the walls of some proud towns which war has spared. But those who starve outside besiege these forts of luxury and pleasure, yet unarmed, they long for weapons and will get them soon. So then we have a long, long, long story how the two players go to Jerusalem and uh, there are fights. Uh, and then, in the end, um, we show, we give a voice to the victims after the conquest of uh, Jerusalem <laughs> by the Crusaders. And now, the very last words of the play, female <laughs> My Lord has knowledge of whatever is said in heaven and earth. He hears all and knows all. He will cast truth at falsehood until truth uh, shall triumph. And falsehood be no more. Men have divided themselves into factions, but to him they shall return. In the name of Allah, compassionate, merciful, Safi Chel and Date and Thank you. Thank you. We heard so many uh, very remarkable and, and special and important uh, poetry. And I would uh, like to invite a uh, uh, dear guest from Cameroon, Timba Bema, who was born in the Bali neighborhood of Dua, Cameroon, which was known as Bell Town during the German protectorate of the early 20th century. From early on, his imagination was fueled by Dwara legends, as well as the region's tragic colonial history. He is the winner of literary grand prize of Black Africa for his poem, Le Sciences de la Man, The Breast of the, of the Lover. Okay, uh, please, Timba. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here with you. I will uh, read you a poem of mine named Kigali. I will not explain it. Uh, was written in French. I will not explain what it is about. Can you speak louder, please? I just maybe want you to feel that poem and uh, to just uh, let it flow. <coughs> I hear that uh, band members are very good singers. Is that wrong or right? <laughs> yeah. uh, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it right? Yes because I would like you to uh, sing a little bit. So I will uh, uh, sing first and we will uh, do it together later. So the song is the following one. It's a simple one. Ma -oh. 
Pour seul linceuil, le nuage atomique de ta haine vaginale. Avec pour seul linceuil, le nuage atomique de la haine vaginale. Politique pour l'or, pour rien. Politique de la vache dépecée à coups de machette, machette rouge de la haine qui frappe, 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 frappe ton corps de vache qui galie. Encore chirurgicalement, elle frappe encore et encore machinalement le monde des vivants et des songes, des vivants et des songes. Qui galit, oh, qui galit, tes morts, nos morts sont-ils morts avec nos morts Nos morts, tes morts seront-ils toujours vissés à nos corps Qui galit, oh, qui galit. Ma oh my, ma Ah! 
genocide, the genocide in uh, Rwanda. I don't want to say more. I think that all of us. Yeah. Are yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for yeah. very good talk. So we have four more point readings tonight, or maybe five, and you have count very well. <laughs> Alex Parodi, Roman is Professor of Literature. Literature translator committed to the defense of freedom of expression, minority languages, and the enhancement of the mother tongue. The status of literary translators. President of the Pen Center, Swiss Roman. Alex, ah, here. Good. I will make an homage of diversity and I hope you see that Switzerland we have quite diversity with Courage and with Timba. Thank you Courage and thank you Timba. I will I talk to you about Agron Tufa and this afternoon during the pose is Elvana, his wife, she translated one of his poems in English because I cannot speak in Albanian. So I know a little bit of the Indian, so I will uh, read it to you. Autumn energy, fiery yellow, brown stains, the leaves in the park, over the asphalt, so beautiful, with passing colors, under the sky, color of the Time, like a river, takes me back, but my back to the sea. This autumn sun is colored, is hidden with the night. Once the beach's umbrella is closed, all the colors are white and gray. Now I go with the flow, it pushes me, casts me out, turns me to a genus alongside the couch. I only see with just the face. How lingers past a continuous frame. And my ring tools propagate like the world. I swim in space as a sense of future. The back cannot replace the face. Time, like a river, takes me back up. But my back doesn't feel, doesn't look. All the torrents flush into the range. On the leaves, umbrella is closed. What pays the flowers builds its way to bloom. New ways hidden in the river. I don't know whether I can make such a deep song to placate them, but let them assume. Thank you. Just, I'm more, I don't know if the name as a writer, but I write sometimes. And this poem is dedicated. Dimitri Margaritis, which I wear the color he gave me. He was the friend, if you have seen the film Z of yeah. Costa Gavras, yeah. he was the friend you see in the picture. And Dimitri was in Macronisus, he has been tortured. But how he died in Greece? During, you know, the crisis in Greece, he couldn't take out money except once a week. And he got sick at night. We were twins, and we were one day different, the same age. And uh, he couldn't take money to give the money to the doctor and the table, because you know that's uh, what happens in the East and now. And so he didn't, couldn't take money, so he couldn't give to the doctor. And he died outside the hospital. And he had given his life to me. So, and the beginning of the poem is in Spanish of Gabriel Celaya, who Germán uh, Rojas took. And this is my device, I say it every morning. La poesía es un arma cargada de futuro. In French, la poesie est chargée, est une arme chargée de futuro. I should say in English, I don't know if it's true, that poetry is a weapon carrying future. Je résiste, enfermé, enfermé, du dedans et du dehors, 
mur muraille visible et invisible s'érige autour de nous, autour de toi, autour de moi. Telle une hydre rampante, il nous encercle lentement. Indifférence, inconscience, comme un poisson lancinant, l'autre devient l'ennemi. On se méfie de lui, d'elle, de toi, de moi, même de notre ombre, même de ton ombre, même de mon ombre. Que la grâce de la poésie abatte les murailles de la nouvelle Jéricho. Merci. Continue with French uh, from Paris. Here we have uh, our dear friend Carol Mesrobian. Carol Castillo Mesrobian is a poet, reviewer, literary, and art critic, and radio producer. She is the author of some 15 collections of poetry and has taken part in numerous anthologies and collective works in both the literary and visual arts field. General Secretary of the Publisher Transignum directs the publisher Oxibia, produces and hosts the monthly literary radio program Live to Dear on radio frequency Paris to Real. Okay. And is the General Secretary of the French Club. Good. Thank you. I'm going to read you a, a short poem from the quand ça se tient la geôle et que le mur des trouilles sera l'humanité, sa masure et sa tombe, le désir comme un feu dans l'enfant jamais tu. J'écris comme on se tient debout dans les ruelles, entre impasse et falaise. Je prononce ma route et j'emmène le monde dans l'entrebâillement, sur un seuil paisible, dans un lavage d'ici où s'écrit le poème « Ce peu d'avant-demain » sur l'élastique ensanglanté d'un horizon où se déroule encore le magma des déroutes. Merci. Carol, thank you. You have won the prize, uh, the one poem only that we ask for everybody. Uh, so you, have, you have won the prize. Right? Me too, me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yes, yeah. yes. yes. But, but when you hear Catalan, then it, 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 you imagine this and it, it seems like a, like a, uh, like a long So we are here on our dear friends who was captured in, in in Croatian embassy in Calcutta and on the last moment he has managed to catch Croatia. So he waited years in Calcutta for three 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 weeks to, to get a visa. So uh, it was yeah, it was like a thriller, yes, but a very happy ending. Okay. <laughs> so we need happy endings, especially in this committee. Yes. Secretary General of Pen Bangladesh Center and Steering Committee Member of Writers and President Committee of Pen International. He writes fiction, drama, and is called Focus, the first month literary journal in Bangladesh entirely devoted to fiction. Fiction? Yeah. No poetry in it. No, no. Okay. <laughs> For over seven and a half years now, Gold Poker has served printed about 1,000 writers today, out of whom uh, about. Uh, about 10 years now, it's only your. Uh -huh, okay, for 10 years. About 300 young writers made their debut debut in both focus. Okay, thank you uh, for coming and please read it. Uh, thank you so much. I would also like to read one poem just to get the uh, award. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they turn to another okay. poem. But, uh, when uh, I was uh, listening to uh, this poem, it was Poyo Song. As I just uh, created the word poem and song together. This is Poyo Song, and I am very much uh, happy to hear that, but I cannot. Uh, I cannot, uh, what should I say, cannot, uh, basically I'm a, a novelist and uh, write fiction. But I have uh, written this poem while I was in Uppsala last uh, in some days. 
in the area of Uppsala Jitro uh, Sarkhaw. Uh, okay, they invited me, not in this, this was, that was not connected with the uh, pen congress, but they invited me to uh, read a poem in a session. So I think uh, I need to write. And I have written this poem on uh, 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 my Shavini, you know, who was uh, uh, death in, uh, I could say, killed in the police custody in Iran, you know. So uh, my poem is uh, No Hate, but Love. Oh, mankind, I love whatever you call us, cast, religion and nation. We come to celebrate this one day life with love, affection, respect, and for the betterment of the downtrodden human beings. Open time. Let's love to be. Love to have equality and have a life. Don't hate. Please don't hate because of color, caste, religion, and power. Can we hate others for different ideas, thoughts, beliefs and languages? No. No. Never. We want a peaceful, democratic world. Free peace and right rights. No hatred, no discrimination, and no power. We don't want to lose any more my family for the right to be for mankind. Let's have a goal of peace without hate but now. Thank you. Sir. At least three, I think, prize for one poem. <laughs> Sarah, okay. Sarah, thank you for coming. You have found this place, yes, because that you, uh, somebody told me that you have uh, uh, been lost at the, where there is a right. place for the, where there is written Brothers of the Croatian Dragon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was also the mystery, yes. yes. <laughs> I had to be rescued. Yes. <laughs> So you have you have uh, came here. So please uh, uh, read your poetry. Uh, Sarah Lawson is a poet and translator who has been a member of English Pen since 1979. She grew up in the United States but lives in London and holds a PhD in English from the University of Glasgow. Her translation from Middle French of the Treasures of the City of Ladies by Christine de Pisan was published by Penguin Classics and is the first translation of it into English. So please uh, read it. Sarah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, we all know how important small details can be. Or the absence of small details. And um, before I read this, I should mention, uh, uh, remind you that uh, uh, the cause, one of the causes of the First World War was the assassination of the Archduke Francis Ferdinand in Sarajevo by a young friend uh, called Princip. Now, suppose Princip had missed. People would say later a forgettable footnote, an insignificant detail that a minor royal from some country or other had nearly been shot once, sitting in his car, being driven through streets in some city many years ago. Only historians of irrelevant anecdotes had ever heard of the gunman, this poor aide, who only managed to dip the gas tank and then was collared by the police who gave him a good talking to <laughs> and silly boy and he promised not to try it again <laughs> is, is it published? Is there a is it for an application? Yes, it was online. Yes, online journal of the high window. Yes, okay. Yes, okay.
Serbian aggression operation in the, in the in the 90s, and so we we feel it. Uh, we feel we feel it, uh, and then through the poetry uh, come their voices. The voices uh, they do not speak uh, about uh, 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 large things. They speak about life, about uh, the, the homes, about the gardens, about the shelters. So there is a, a, a bomb shelter. Uh, the name of the uh, poem by Galina Krug, one of the finest Ukrainian poems. I dream of a bomb shelter on the outskirts of my memory, the only remnant of the military training lessons at school. There won't be any more wars, the teacher told us. But each of you should bear in mind the following. In case of nuclear explosion, or if weapons of mass destruction are used, or another mishap occurs, you should go down to the shelters avoiding panic, taking only the necessary things with you and nothing else. You will need warm clothes if the war drags on until winter. There is no heating in the shelter, you know. Won't it be hot there anyway? A witty remark came from the back row. As for you, Master Grinovets, no one knows if they let you in. There won't be room for all. Food and water supplies will be limited. I'm sure that at the time of Armageddon, anxiety is unpreventable. How many people will be trampled at the last bomb shelter? I can't begin to, um, to imagine how God will make a choice. One in 10,000, one in a million. And what about arithmetical errors? I hope people won't be discriminated against because of their sex, race, or religion. I want to believe that. How many gaps of air will suffice them until their sex machine shows up? Each class follows their mentor, the teacher told us. And I repeat, no running in the aisles between the bunks. You should keep your name tags in your breast pockets. Names should be written neatly. Your handwriting won't do, Pedeshko. My name tax, I am wondering that too. Perhaps they are for the angels that will remove the souls. Because no one will actually survive. For the angels in white garments embroidered with red crosses. And that dress. For the angels, so they know how to address you, my little one. And sorry, but as not to get the prize for one poem, I'm <laughs> <read one. laughs> Inspired by uh, by the uh, by the uh, uh, mentioned uh, name in the in the speech by uh, Salir, uh, Caroline Forche, this is uh, about uh, poetry of fitness. So that's in the poetry of fitness. Uh, 
that's what we heard in this Ukraine book and uh, that we have published and from Galina here and, and from everywhere, from, from all around, uh, from all of you, uh, from Vilas uh, and from, from all of you here. So that is what is important. That is one uh, Caroline Forche again forgetting 20th century poetry of witness, uh, poetry anthology that I have from the 90s and it inspired me uh, to seek in poetry how to address uh, 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 the tragedies and dramas of the world as the case is the war and we published, inspired by this anthology, uh, four or five anthologies and such. So this is the way for us, of course, in pen because we are, first of all, uh, poets, essays, novelists and translators and, and publishers, uh, our language, our language how to uh, address the world around us and, and, uh, and the tragedies and the chaos that happen. So, uh, and then also what we said here, uh, there is no uh, South Chile and, uh, and there are of course in Catalonia here, but I will read then the poem from this book. There is also uh, there is also the Wilfred Owen who, who said what poets can do who, the, who was killed in the in the First World War, what poet can do but war. So that is what we can do in the war to war. So it is the poem by Miguel Hernandez for the from the from Spain who was who was uh, uh, imprisoned by Franco and who was who wrote one great poem, uh, Lullaby of the Onion for his son. It is a long poem, I will read this, just one short one, that is also speaks about Ukraine now. So, okay, let me read the poem. <laughs> it is a short one. You will not suffer. I know that your beard is getting warm, sorry. You will not suffer. War. Old age in the towns, the heart without an owner, love without any object, grass, dust, crow, and the young ones in the coffins, the tree alone and dry, woman like a stick of widowhood across the bed, hatred there is no cure for, and the young ones in the coffins. So uh, that is for me now. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, for coming for the poetry evening, and thank you for all these days that we uh, uh, we spent together and uh, we heard uh, so many things. And all these poetry voices are something that we it, it is always uh, good, and and it needs to be to conclude with the poetry evenings. Also, we will have before the uh, before the number of the musicians. Now they will have not one; they will have ten songs. <laughs> but Sandra, San Sandra from uh, Berlin, Pen, who will, she will uh, also also sing or something the guitar or something, so, some poem. Yes. Yes, because okay. I was not on the list, so I I, I yes. will tell you. Um, I will uh, sing a poem. Um, by uh, Fuad Najm, you know it maybe. Huh? Um, it was it was sung by Sheikh Imam. It was like a duo with Fuad ah, Najm. Ah, Fuad Najm. Yes. And they were like a duo. Um, and like Sheikh Imam died in uh, ninety five. Uh, Fuad Najm died in nineteen both were very known for their very political songs for the poor classes and therefore uh, revolutionary songs and therefore after the war and, and um, uh, 67 they were many times in prison and